This is a big fish. Wow, what is this? This is another big one. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, good morning, everybody and or anybody. Christian would make time for fishing here out on Breach Inlet today. Going to be doing some fiddler crab fishing again. It's about two hours until low tide. It's a foggy, cloudy morning today but the fog should be burning off soon and we might actually get some sun in a few hours. It's a bit chilly, about 42, 43 right now. Should get up to 50, 52 today. I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna be starting out with free lining crabs and also the split shot rig. I'm gonna be working some of the shallower docks to begin with. And then once I run through all the shallower docks, I'll put on some jigs probably and fish them deeper. But anyway, let's get after it. Thank you for watching and enjoy. Okay, I just re-upped on fiddler crabs yesterday the tackle shop was running low and I didn't want them to run out before I had a chance to get more. If you get a chance to get some this winter, they actually stay alive pretty well in a bucket if you just keep a little bit of uh, salt water and sand. Just a little splash of salt water, not like enough for them to drown, you know. They'll stay alive in there for a few days. But yeah, I'm just going to work some of these relatively shallower docks, see if I can find any fish. That was quick. Okay, well first drop, I found a sheep's head. That's always nice. Now let's actually catch them. You know what, I think I'm in a free line because it wasn't that deep at all. And I'm out of the wind right here. Okay, free lining. Let's see, definitely didn't stick them, so he shouldn't have gotten spooked. All the way through there. Come on. Come on. Slowly getting him out. Oh, he's out. He's out. Nice first fish. Well, I haven't landed him yet, but. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. He's going towards where I got hung up that one time. Oh my gosh. Nice. Ooh. That's a good start right there. I want to see if I can get a huge one today. I woke up feeling good about today, not just because of the 17-incher, just something about the conditions seemed promising. Let's uh, get them unhooked and get them back. I'm not keeping any fish today. If you're wondering why I haven't been keeping fish very much recently, it's because I just, we ate so much fish the last couple months that we we're just like ready to take a break from it. But uh Still love fishing, so I'm gonna burn through my crabs on the first piling. This honestly might be the same fish I already caught. Eh, it might be, oh, it might be a little bit smaller than the first one, but for a second I thought this was the exact same fish. Let's take a quick measurement. Yeah, this one's 16. Last one was a little over 17. Still a pretty fish. It's off to a good start. These are both off the first piling I tried. Let's uh, get them back. See if we can find some more. rough on this corner here so I'm going to put on a split shot. We've caught three so far. It's probably been about an hour at this point. Got a um, pre-crunched fiddler crab single split shot. I say pre-crunched because it got hit but the fish didn't take it. This is a big fish. Wow. I need to get away from this dock. Wow. 
wow, what is this? This is not a sheep's head. Oh, no, no, no. Stay away from the dock. Need to keep him away from the dock. Come on. Away from the dock. Still haven't seen it yet. To have my net ready. Alright, I can loosen up the drag a little bit. I'm thinking this might be a black drum. Oh, it's a huge sheep's head. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. I thought this was a big black drum. <laughs> Let's get the hook out of him. I'm like shaking. I was so afraid I was going to lose him. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Look at the size of this. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this thing. This thing's 24 and a half inches. <laughs> wow. I'm really in shock. I'm going to give him a nice long revive. <laughs> All right, well, he seems to be doing okay here. Let's let him. He's really. There he goes. Come on. There you go. Wow. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm still shaking from that. That was unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> kind of at a loss for words. So split shot rig works. This rod works. Man, wow, I need a minute here. This is the rig right here. I haven't changed it. Single 112 ounce split shot over a size one mosquito hook. So I'm about to drop back down on the exact same piling. So it's not even that deep here. It's maybe eight feet, maybe. This is another big one. Oh my gosh. Not as big as that last one, I don't think. But it's another good one. No, definitely not as big. That's not a bad fish. Same piling as that huge one. Probably a 15 incher. Looks like a baby after that one. A little guy, I think. Well, not little. I mean, he's, looks like a keeper. Yeah, he's probably 14, 15. Sorry about the wind if it's picking up in the microphone. It's definitely picking up out here. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, I moved up the creek a bit because the wind's so strong. I just feel like I need to get a little bit shower so that my bait has a better chance of split shot of actually getting down. Oh. <laughs> it's a 
very dark sheep's head. See ya, man. I wonder if I can uh, free line. Yeah, I guess I'll try free lining. All right, let's see if this will work. This one's pretty good too. That's probably a good 16 incher. Solid fish. Alright. It's a little guy. Dang. Yeah. Well, not tiny. Okay. It is time to uh, hit the deeper docks. And I'm starting out with a half ounce jig with that fiddler crab to work these deeper areas, probably 12 plus feet deep, possibly more in some areas. Uh, I don't have a depth finder or anything. It's just from my experience with how long it takes for my baits to get to the bottom when I fish here. Not very big. Oh, it's not bad though. That's a pretty one. See you, buddy. Let's find out if there's any more. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's been a very steady bite this morning, but this guy uh, is the first big one in a little bit. I mean, I've been catching a lot of keepers, but this guy's probably a 16 incher. Nice solid fish on the jig, right in the roof of his mouth. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to the end here. I'm just gonna try the last few docks here. If they stop biting here, I'm just gonna move on to the next one. I do not wanna stay out too long when I've already caught a lot. That's just greedy, which it's hard to leave him biting, I'll be honest. Especially when they're biting like this. <laughs> this is just fun. Look at that. Wow. That's another great one. The average size today has been awesome. Look at how pretty that one is. Another decent one. <laughs> wow. Another one on the jig, very light colored compared to a lot of the ones today.
This is the same piling I cut the, my PV off of earlier. Not quite as big, but beautiful. All right. All right, well, that was a pretty amazing day of sheep's head fishing. That PB was massive. I thought I had a huge black drum. It did not fight like a normal sheep's head. I, I don't know if it was that fish specifically or just when they get that big. I've never caught one that big. That was, that was probably like an eight, nine pound plus fish. That was very heavy. I got lucky he went straight out rather than back into the pilings. There's no way I would have been able to stop him. Not the windiest day, but it's definitely kicking up now. It's going to be a rough paddle back. I got about a mile to go. Thankfully, I timed it right, so I'll be going up with the current, and I think the wind will be at my back for at least part of it. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and remember to make some time for fishing. Bye.